Hi there. I'm sometimes asked why the HKL lines of the reference structures are only calculated up to 60 degrees to theta. So as you can see, no matter which structure I select, it only has lines up to 60 degrees. This is just a default setting in Profex and it can easily be changed if you want them to go up to higher angles and I will show you how to do this. We go to Edit, Preferences and on the, in the section BGMN on the page Reference Structures we go to the tab Database File and here we can set the upper limit. We can, for example, go up to 100 degrees. This angle actually refers to copper radiation. So what it does is it indexes the structures up to the D value at 100 degrees using copper radiation. If you are using a different type of radiation, it will still go up to the same D value, but this will correspond to a different angle. So for example, if you are using molybdenum radiation with a shorter wavelength, you will get peaks calculated up to about 50 degrees, about half of this value. If you're using a longer wavelength like cobalt or chromium, you will get HKL lines a little bit higher than the value you set here. In the coming version of Profex, there will be a new button here, so you can specifically select your wavelength and it will go exactly to the 2 theta value for the wavelength you select here. So now all the newly indexed structure files will be indexed up to 100 degrees. If we want to re-index all the existing ones, we first have to clear the HKL buffer. Now all the HKL data is erased in the internal database. We click OK. And now we go to Tools, Index Reference Structures to re-index the whole internal structure database. It's going to take a bit longer if we set the angle to a higher value. On this modest computer running this virtual machine, when I set it up to 60 degrees, it took about 1 minute 50 seconds to index all the structures and the buffer file storing this information was uh, 23 megabytes. And if we set it to 100, it takes 2 minutes 18, so a little bit longer. But the buffer file is about five times as large. It's uh, 112 megabytes. So now if we select the reference structures, we will see that they have peaks all the way up to 100 degrees. That's all we have to do. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.